Within the ethos of Western College, there is this constant drive that everybody will be as good as they can be. That's not only us, the teachers, lecturers, whatever you want to call us, but that's more about really, these are the students, they've had horrendous, some of them disastrous relationships with educational staff in the past, and we have to pick them up and get them going moving in the right direction. We plan our curriculum alongside the Governor's representative from each establishment. We look at local labour market intelligence and look at where the employment opportunities are for our learners. We then plan a curriculum based around that using vocationally specific qualifications with a real emphasis on functional skills to make sure that our learners have got the best chance of employment on release. As a senior management team um, in Offender Linen in Western College, we place a great emphasis on CPD and investing in staff to ensure that they keep up to date with relevant knowledge, that we upskill them and we support them in the direction that they want to go. It's not just the fact of delivering the qualification. The staff need to have the skill set before they even come in, and this is what we interview for, to ensure classroom management and behavioural issues, but they also are skilled enough to change the behaviours. So again, it's not just the fact of delivering the qualification, it's developing all the softer skills to be able to um, work in employment. We set up an academic conference every year which encourages our staff to get together, to share good practice. We invite lots of other stakeholders and other organisations who deliver training in our prisons as well so potentially people from charities and other organizations to really get that breadth of provision which we so want to incorporate into what we do um, it's been massively successful over the last three years um, and staff really feel that it brings them into the organization and makes them part of what we do here at the main college one, one of the prerequisites of working for Western College is that you were committed and you were driven and passionate about reducing reoffending, supporting learners to learn the skills, not just the qualifications, but the softer skills to be able to lead a crime-free life. As an outstanding organisation, um, we have very high expectations of our staff and our learners, and this is reflected in our offender learning provision. Um, we want to make sure that everyone achieves their full potential, and the curriculum that we have in place really really inspires people to make new starts. Western College allowed me to support um, specific members of staff um, from nurturing stages and enable them to go and deliver outstanding um, teaching to many different diverse cultures within a prison. Western College coming in, they have really backed me to do the courses and the training that the men, the prisoners, have identified that, um, that they feel they need mm. and I've been given the time and the space to develop them and run them um, and they have, uh, I've got to be honest, they have very big waiting lists. Um, one of the young men, when I said to the class, I said everyone needs to catch up with their slippage and their portfolios and except for Aaron, who's already done his, so Aaron, can you help Adam? He said to the whole class, I have never never been top of anything. I've never come first and I feel brilliant. In a monstrously huge part of 100%, probably 98% plus, they get something out of it. And of those 98%, possibly their first certificate or qualification. Um, the employability skills at um, Western have enabled um, learners to take on has been fantastic. Um, also with enabling teachers again to go and express how they want to deliver a session, how they want to link in employers and how they want to go and take new projects and allow outcomes to be reached through holistic kind of teaching. Through the actions of a couple of members of uh, Western College they've put me, unbeknownst to me, they put me forward for this uh, Pearson Teaching Award and um, Luckily we have progressed through to the silver stage for every lecturer of the year, which is pretty good. First one ever in Olas even to be put up for it, which was weird. They go to the learners, past learners, uh, and say, right, okay, you've been on Jerry's course, you've done this, done that, what has it done for you? And it's not about, yeah, well, okay, um, we got through a certificate, brilliant. Uh, but it's, yeah, he made sure that I was there on time every day. He showed me that. I must work with other people, otherwise it doesn't get it done. It means that when he says stop, it doesn't mean I've done something wrong, because when most people say to me, stop, it's usually a policeman chasing me. It means, like, you haven't paid attention, something could go wrong drastically. It's the little things like that. 
Now we've created something which does concentrate on the learner journey. It does give that attention to maths and English. And most importantly, it makes sure that those learners within the personal environment are equipped with the skills to enter the world of employment at the end of sentence.